get the final quarter. Look at the result. The result was brilliant. And Amelia Ran Iconacio joins us from Auckland Airport. Team plays this coming Wednesday. Then I think it's the Sunday after that, but about to fly. That was even more impressive, I thought, last night than last Wednesday. Did you think that you played that much better? Well, I don't know. It, it's, I mean, it's always a little bit hard to gauge when you're trying to read it against better. Some of our numbers were better. Some weren't um, weren't as good as the first game. So, um, But I think the feel of being able to be in that really tight situation and us coming out on top, I think that's the ultimate test um, for us. So, yeah, definitely happy with that one. Yeah, look, that third, the third stands of the third quarter, fifteen nine. That was it. That was the, that was the killer, wasn't it? Because at that stage, whoever was going to assert themselves in that looked as though they were going to take it out. So I thought that was brilliant. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was a really big quarter for us, and and um, the third quarter in the previous game wasn't like that at all. So so yeah, we were really proud with how we came out on the blocks, and I think notoriously we've always been quite good at finishing games strongly. Um, so we just mixed it up, <laughs> you know. And um, in between these two games, I know you don't like singling out certain people, but um, we've got to talk about Peta because uh, she has just been inspirational these last two games. Oh yeah, no, I will talk about her all day. Um, Go on. I definitely think that I'm so proud of how she's come back into the team, and um, I think you know she's. I, I've said it so many interviews, but she's the most explosive player I think I've ever played with as well, too. And I think she's just done a fantastic job in coming back into the environment and. You know, she's um, hit her fitness targets as well, too. And, I, I mean, I just think she's actually unstoppable out there. So I, I really enjoyed playing with her. Amelia Rand, why wasn't she going to Australia, though? Well, you know, I mean, I guess that's, um, that was the plan right from the start. And, um, and you know, it's, a, it's an opportunity for people to be able to put their hands up between playing the two different legs. And, and there's no doubt in anybody's mind that she has 100% put both of her hands up, I think for that position um, and, you know, to be in the 12 going forward. So um, now, you know, we look to Kimmy and we look to Maddie to put their hands up as well too. And and I guess in a way they're coming in with um, not as much pressure in them now. We've got two wins under our belt and not that we don't want to go for three and four, but um, we've I feel like we've laid a nice foundation for the girls coming in. Oh, yeah, 2-0 up. So it comes down to now, I mean, you know, the only way that we can not win this Constellation Cup is by goal difference. But that's not your attitude, is it? Your attitude is to go there and win. Yeah, no, it's definitely not at all. I think um, it, it's a rare situation where we really feel like we've got Aussie pins. Um, and it's one I've not been in very often before in my career. So, um, yeah, we're definitely going there, um, there to win. And, um, and we know what it feels like now. And, and lots of our girls who hadn't played before, they know what the feel is like playing Aussie. So, um, but obviously, we're not naive, and we know that going over and playing them over there will be a whole different, um, different ball game. Emilia Ranikanasio with us at the airport, and the Silver Ferns about to fly to Australia, two nil up. As far as the shooting circle goes, what was it? The first miss was, I think, at the end of the third quarter, wasn't it? That's extraordinary. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I definitely remember that one. And um, <laughs> yeah, my legs were my legs were failing on me <laughs> by that by that point. I, I didn't have too much left. But but yeah, I mean, um, Grace is a big target for us in there, and and there's no doubt that she she adds a whole lot of value down to our shooting end. But she's growing a whole lot as well, and she's learning, and she's keen to learn as well too. So. Um, that's, a, that's a really good quality. How has this turned around so much from that semi-final against Jamaica and especially that first quarter at the Commonwealth Games? It just seems like it's a completely different team that we've got now. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I guess um, I, I probably can't even comment on that, to be honest, because I wasn't there. You there, so I know, yeah. I'm a, real feel, I'm a real feel person as well, too, so I don't know what the feel was like. But, but um, yeah, I mean, we've been working hard, we've been training really hard, and... Um, and, yeah, it just feels like things are going. We're, we're having to work hard to make sure that things are going the way we want them to go and that we have the ability to do what we say we're going to do on court. doesn't make it any easier, um, but we're really committed and everybody's um, bought into what we want to do. The confidence comes from winning, does it? Mm, I guess, yeah, I mean, oh, 100%. Confidence does come from winning as well too, but I think confidence comes from being um, able to train really hard against each other and, and know what each other are going to do under pressure. Um, sometimes you can't emulate that pressure in training, but we give it a really good go um, as well too. So, um, yeah. Also, let's talk about the defence because Phoenix was especially uh, just dominant, I thought. Yeah, she really is. I mean, I, I, she's in an absolutely unreal form at the moment. 
Um, and I mean, how cool that she's come into this unreal form after having a baby. I think that that's really special as well. Um, you know, who knows if it's the catalyst um, of getting her here, but yeah, really proud to see her out, out on court and, um, and leading as well too on and off court. I also love the thing is, I mean, is it always something that you do that you hang around so long after the game and sign all those autographs and things? I mean, I was watching the pictures last night and just thinking, you look at the kids' faces. I mean, they're just starstruck. It's great to see. Yeah, we love it. We love being able to reconnect with our, with our fan base and our community. Um, and, we, you know, we've had years where we haven't been able to do it. We haven't been able to talk to the crowds and we haven't been able to go and um, and find things and, and, you know, meet and greet. Um, people who come to our games. I mean, that's what that's what we're about. So yeah, being able to do it again is really special. So we have we, we give it the time because we love it. Just on a personal thing, is it hard as a mum to get up and go and leave the kids behind? Oh it, yeah, it is. Actually, I've been away from my kids now for a week, and um, you know we've got we're only halfway, and um, yeah, I I really can't wait to see my kids. I'm definitely hanging out to see them. So. It is hard, but I mean, we we really head down while we're here mm. and, and we're into it. And, yeah. and you know, when when you you get the wins and when you you achieve something that you're trying to achieve, it does make it worthwhile. And um, yeah. Thank the Lord for technology, eh, so that you can actually see them at least. I mean, you imagine doing this 24, yeah. 50 or 100 years ago where you didn't actually get maybe a phone call in a phone booth or something. Thank God for technology oh, the way I it is. Oh, I know. Yeah, we're very lucky, very grateful for it. Well, outstanding couple of wins there, and especially coming off the back of a Jamaican series, which, you know, the way that, that you know, ended with their team not arriving in that, I didn't know how, how good that preparation was going to be. But obviously what you've done in camp says that, You've moved on from that pretty quickly. Yeah, look, we've always um, known that we have to be able to measure ourselves against ourselves. It's always been a really big value of ours um, behind the scenes. So regardless of if those games were um, a good preparation or not, they still have some, held some really good learning for, for lots of us. And even, like, personally, for me, um, I hadn't, I hadn't um, you know, been back out on court yet, so it was a good month for kind of me to get under my belt as well. So... And I know I'm similar for lots of the other girls who hadn't worn a black dress for a little while or were new to it. Congratulations again. Two nil ups, best possible space and place to be in before we go to Australia. Thanks always for your time. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thanks very much.